Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 15 of my 3D printed scrap metal sculpture inspired Geiger alien xenomorph suit. In the last couple of parts, I've been working on the back and the tail, which you should have a look at the videos for if you haven't seen them already. So today we're gonna to try and sort out some of the head sections that I never made, which are clearly missing, and do something about these white sections that make it look a bit like um, an albino bumblebee. I've just got Alien's head off and put it back on its stand, and if you're curious, it's balancing on my 3D printed R2D2 project, so check out my channel for that. There's another video went up last week. So let's have a closer look at what we've got so far of the head. So clearly there's some pieces missing here, which come down in that kind of uh, characteristic shape, and we need to do the back end as well, which has just got this conduit hanging out. Now, initially I've made this out of these black hoops you can just see inside, and to represent the clear dome part of Alien's head, I put on these pieces printed, out. they're actually printed in transparent ABS, despite the fact you can't see through them now because of all the extrusion lines. So they look white as well as this piece. Um, so I'm probably going to tear those off. And I was thinking about what to do instead, and I thought for now I'll just leave it, put all the black hoops all the way up to get the structure, and then maybe I can make a finer mesh in some other material at some point. Um, so for now I'm going to just leave off the clear dome and just get this structure looking okay, have it in black, um, and then we'll be all right, I think. So I'd also made some other bits and pieces, which are these sections, which I've got a box of here. And these were designed to go in between, in between the black sections, as far as I remember, which kind of gives it that characteristic shape all up the head. So it's not just gonna be hoops. Um, I need to print substantially more of those and more of these hoops to make the contour and decide to do what, the, well, what to do with the back end. So um, I'm going to find the CAD for these, it was several episodes before. Try and print out some slightly smaller ones on either side of this and then do some more design for the rest. Here it is with those white things removed, so I've stuck in some of these already, which are just propped in there and I need to make those um, carry on all the way and the outside contour is cut to match the contour of the hoops. So I need to find some longer bits of conduit here that come all the way down into these kind of ear pieces. And I need to make some more of those hoops, but actually without the white things, it's looking quite a lot more sleek already. So I've printed quite a lot of hoops and I've added in some more along the side here, we can see. And I've got that vague shape that should be there along the top with the conduit where it splits out and then goes into those ear pieces. So I think on the whole it's not looking too bad. Let's just turn this slightly. I've got those pieces stuck in as well. So there's still a big hole in the head here at the front. And I think what I'm going to do is have a sort of rail that runs up the top of this along the middle with them um, kind of pointy fingery parts on. So that'll um, have some sort of thing that splits out and covers this. But I still need to do something about the back, so I've put a couple more hoops on, but there's still nothing for that conduit. And these bits of conduit should head down and link to each other, and then there's kind of a big pointy back on, so I still need to print those parts out. So I've just printed the first piece and I'm basically going to do these one at a time and then match the next one up. So I've just printed this which fits on here and it should acetone weld to the back of these pieces and that'll form basically the back of the head there. Then there's a piece hanging below it where this conduit goes and this piece here so we need some more hoops that get gradually smaller till they get to the back. So that is basically the very back of the head. few more pieces have got made at the back of this um, now, so I haven't actually fixed any of these together. They're all separate pieces, so I can get the angle right. So this piece holds the back of the conduit, and it's going to obviously fit on there. That gets welded on, and this gets fitted on somewhere, but I need to sort out the bottom half first. And the other thing that needs to happen is printing a lot more of these hoops, which will all have to um, be different sizes, and I think I probably need them here and here and possibly a couple at the other end. So lots more 3D printing, but 
I'm really quite happy with the structure that I've got so far. This is my vague plan for the back of the head, which is to have these extra pieces with the hoops on there so that we can get the conduit down in that circle hanging below the back of the head. And probably what we'll do is put one bit of conduit inside the other because it's split conduit and that'll both um, get anchored in that very bottom hook. Then there's a couple of other pieces and the other ones that are there are the pieces I've shown you already. So I'll have to get those printed and put them on and see what it looks like. And it's possible there'll be another hoop or two to fill in the other quarters. Time to get sticking. I've assembled this piece which goes on the back here. So I need to stick that on. The acetone welds haven't quite gone off yet. So all these parts are made in ABS, which means I can chemically weld them together. There's quite a lot of this in the previous parts. And I'm using acetone and some acetone with ABS dissolved in, which we have to do in a well ventilated area. So I now need to stick in the rest of the pieces along the side of the head here. And then there's a couple more details. Not all of the parts fit in uh, flat to flat, so these now need to go around the corner. However, I can wedge them in and then I can basically go and drip some acetone in there, hopefully, to make that weld. So I'm going to position it just like that. And get some of my acetone and just run it in there. And then I'll get some of the acetone with ABS dissolved in it. And we'll make a gap filler. So I've got the pot here with the thicker gunk in it. We'll get some of that and attempt to just squidge that into the gaps. Now I just need to repeat that for all of them. Got the majority of those stuck on, which I'm quite happy with on both sides. And I've still got some clamps and some tape just holding the back together there. So, I think that looks pretty cool all together. So I just need to put something on along the top of the head here to fill in this massive gap at the front. And that's going to have kind of spines or finger sections sticking up which go all the way along the back to the back of the head. The plan is to make all of those pieces flat and then bend them with heat and curve them round to the contour of the head. So this is the very front piece and the um, wider piece here comes out between the sort of eyes on the very front of the head and then it's got these spines or fingers that go all the way back. And then at the back I've left a notch there so that I can acetone weld the next one on which is just going to be straight and this is around 30 centimetres long. I need probably three of them to go all the way down to the back of the head. So I better get printing. Right, that is all printed and I've stuck it together so it's all one big long bendy thing and it's actually quite flexible. It's got two acetone welds in it which are the pieces butted up and welded up together. Um, and obviously that's going to go along the head there. So I could probably bend this in but I need to make sure some of this is uh, not so springy so the acetone welds don't spring open. Actually a lot of it will be probably fine as it is, it's just around the head there that I need to kind of shape that around. So I'm going to get a hot air gun, it's going to be very easy to heat this and bend it to shape and then we'll get that acetone welded on. Hopefully we can make up those missing contours. Expected. But anyway, we'll just hold that in position, wait for it to cool a bit. Mm. 
So I've shaped that up to the contour of the head and I'm just going to acetone weld that in. So some of this is still flexible, I haven't bothered sh uh, shaping and it will just be um, attached down there. It's just really this section where the bend is quite tight. So we'll acetone weld that in and clamp it on. And hopefully that should all hold in place. Every time I do these I have to leave the piece on and clamp it on or tape it on. So that's been uh, about half an hour or so, so the acetone should have gone off so we can peel all the tape off. Yep, seems pretty strong, so we should be able to take this off all the way along. And that should hold that piece on. I've got a couple more features to add, which are these pieces, which go just underneath the um, other hose that I made before. And these are printed in one piece, and they've got a hole in the back there for the conduit to pass through. So all I'm going to do is pull the conduit out from these clips, clip it into the back of this on each side, and hopefully that should happily sit there. So let's just give that a go. We should be able to just pop that out. I managed to eventually get those out, and now we should be able to pop this in here instead. I'll just stretch that conduit over. We might as well glue that on as well. But if I should be designed just right to snap into the back there, and I may well glue that onto those other conduit clips. Just leave that in each side. Here are a few shots of all the pieces together so far. That is most of the parts of the head together. I'm really trying to get this suit in a wearable state for events this year. So um, there's still a few uh, gaps in here, which um, obviously at the back here, and some uh, big space in the front of the head. And one of my ideas for the whole suit was to have green liquid flowing in tubes throughout it to look like aliens acid blood. The problem with um, liquid flowing in a tube is you can't actually see it moving, of course, unless there's air bubbles in it. So really you need some liquid with air being injected into it, maybe with a fish tank pump or something. And obviously the problem with that is the, the weight of the liquid and also it's got to go somewhere. So obviously air has to go in and come out of the top. Um, so then you've got the issue with liquid spitting out and it's spilling and everything. What I'd really like to do with the head is a similar thing, but I don't really want to uh, carry um, a reservoir of liquid on my head. Um, so one of the ideas I had was to have kind of 3D printed diffused things, so maybe two globes in the front of the head that look like the frontal lobes of the brain, but kind of 3D printed diffused green glowing things and some tubes that run all the way down. So I haven't quite decided what that looks like yet, so for now I'm going to leave these areas open, now that I've got the main structure, and actually work on the other missing parts of the suit. So therefore that is the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and my other 3D printed projects, including my 3D printed R2D2, which is just down here, and my massive Hulkbuster suit, which you've probably seen if you're a regular viewer to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon campaign at patreon.com xrobots, where you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including a live broadcast and some exclusive project building content, which I only do in live broadcasts for patrons only.